So when you look at the vineyards of Burgundy, it's sometimes easy to imagine that it suffice simply to plant grapevines to create world-class viticultural conditions. But in fact, that's not at all the case. And when you look at these vast uh, mouge here in chassagne marche um, you see that this is a landscape, in fact, that's uh, natural, yes, but also very much being constructed by man over time. Uh, these mouge here were created when people picked up stones out of the vineyards over the centuries and piled them up out of the way. Um, <laughs> and... Uh, that's, uh, when you look at the scale of this, it really gives one a sense of how much time, how much labor has been invested over an immensely long period to create uh, these conditions for, for growing uh, grapes and producing wine. Uh, the mouche are very obvious and they're very impactful. Uh, they can shelter uh, a vineyard, create a different mesoclimate, change air drainage, even change the drainage of water depending on where they're positioned in, in a vineyard. And I don't think that they were located where they're located by accident either. Uh, but there are other things that are maybe not so apparent. Uh, you know, over, over time, topsoil was often brought in, uh, often from the rich agricultural plain of the Bresse. That famously happened in, in Von Romane and some of the grandest vineyards, uh, especially after flooding had destroyed uh, topsoil. And then equally, uh, what to us looks like a very regular flat surface, sometimes would have been pitted and, and uh, contoured. And over time, again, people filled in holes with stones, brought in topsoil to create a much smoother surface that, you know, better adapted to working with whether horses or by hand or, or with tractors. Um, a lot of mouche were actually removed, especially in the 60s and 70s, when people wanted to make nice long rows to get in big tractors. And it cha changed in many respects um, uh, the character of, of vineyards and the character of the landscape in Burgundy. But there's still a lot of uh, these things around, and it really reminds us uh, quite how long people have been making wine here uh, and how even if obviously uh, nature is very propitious for growing wine in Burgundy, it's also uh, a very much a culturally constructed landscape over, over long periods.